Hello, welcome to TI Precision Labs. And today the topic of discussion is what is an Opta emulator? We will begin by going over some background regarding older technology, followed by an introduction to Opta emulators, then discuss the current Opta emulator families, and finally finish off with some quiz questions. What are optocouplers? Optocouplers are semiconductor devices that have been used since the 1970s. They allow for signals to pass through between two different isolated circuits. Optocouplers essentially use an LED on the first side to transmit digital or analog signals to a phototransistor that detects those signals on the second side. This allows for safety in industrial and automotive applications when there are ground potential differences present between two different circuits. So considering optocouplers, what's new? Well, it's TI's Opto Emulators. TI's optoemulators are also semiconductor devices that behave and appear like optocouplers, but use silicon dioxide, or SiO2, which is TI's modern isolation barrier technology. Using TI's SiO2 technology for optoemulators between the transmit and receive die allow for the enhancement of high voltage reliability, device longevity, and better electrical characteristics. Optoemulators are designed to directly replace optocouplers on existing designs and systems, which allows for simple usage and no change in design for the customer. So how do opto emulators work? Internally to the opto emulators, a diode emulator takes a current driven input. This diode emulator has the same forward voltage drop that optocouplers have, allowing for opto emulators to emulate the behavior of optocouplers and therefore require no system modifications to replace optocouplers with optoemulators. The input signal applied to the optoemulator is transmitted across the isolation barrier using on-off keying modulation, or OOK for short, in which the transmit side sends a high frequency carrier signal that contains information on how much current is flowing through the input pins. The receiver side demodulates the signal after advanced signal conditioning and produces an output signal. So what are the different Opta emulator families? There are three main Opta emulator families that are currently available. The ISO M87XX, the ISO M81XX, and the ISO M86XX. The ISO M8710 is an Opta emulator that has a digital or logic output. Currently, this family is available in CMOS output or open collector output based devices. The ISO M8110 is an Opta emulator that has an analog or a current based output. This has several variants that provide different CTR ranges. The ISO M8610 is an Opta emulator that has integrated FETs. The input of this Opta emulator family controls the back to back MOSFETs inside the device. Now we have some quiz questions regarding the topics we covered about Opto emulators. Please pause the video between each question to gather your thoughts. Question number one. What modulation scheme do Opto emulators use in order to transmit signals across the isolation barrier? Please pause and take a few minutes to answer the question. The correct question is the on-off keying modulation scheme, or OOK for short. Question number two. What TI technology allows for opto emulators to have high voltage reliability? Please pause to take a few minutes to answer the question. The correct answer is silicon dioxide or SiO2 insulation material. Overall, opto couplers are due for an upgrade and opto emulators are the way to go for improved longevity and better reliability. For more information regarding Opto emulators, please visit ti.com/isolation. Thank you for watching.